Hey everyone, today we have a quick tutorial on how you can allow the user to change password in the Flutterflow app. So by default, to change your password on Flutterflow for Firebase authentication, you need to reset the password. And this is actually not the best user experience because apps nowadays often will basically have this functionality where you enter your current password. In addition, set the new password all within the app. And this is unfortunately not some, something that Flutterflow um, offers at the moment in terms of Firebase authentication via email. Today, I'll show you how you can actually do this all within the app. So I'll show you how this works. So let's just say I change my password from my current password of 098765 to 1000000. Um, I mean, that's a million. So let's do the same one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's change the password. Boom, you can see it changed the password. So if I log out now and log it back in with the same email address, you know, I just put uh, the old password, let's just say 098765, and press sign in, it fails. But I would put a million, which is a new password. Voila, it logs in. This user experience is all within the app in terms of changing password. Before I get started, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more content on Flutterflow. So the first thing we need to do here is have a very basic change password page. A common example that's uh, used quite often is having a concurrent password field, a new password field, and confirm new password. The first field validates that the user changing the password is indeed the um, right user who actually owns that account in case someone has access to the phone and the app is still on. So this validates that the user who's accessing the phone and the account is actually the rightful owner of that account. The next two are simply prompting the user to enter the new password. And I'm going to also have a confirm new password in case the user makes a typo here for a new password. Hence, that's why there's a reason why we're going to force the user to confirm the new password again. All these fields are basically password fields. You just toggle on and I've toggled autofocus to off. And the text keyboard type is normal text. The second thing we need to do here is have a set of custom code that basically authenticate the user in Firebase and change the password. So I've already written a set of code here for you that you can, that you can access easily. So the function, the custom action is called change password. And what it's doing is basically taking three arguments the current password, the new password, and the email of the user. Do note that this does not work for Google login or Apple login because those logins are handled by Google and Apple themselves. So this change password uh, feature only works for email logins. So what the code is basically doing is, firstly, it authenticates the user using the email, which we have, from the authenticated user field and the current password. If the authentication is successful, we will simply update the user's password with the new password field and then return true, which we can use to do something after the fact. Else, meaning the authentication has failed, we will return false, which we can also do after returning false. So let's configure the action. I currently have this save password button here. And all I want to do here is just firstly, check whether the confirmed password field is equal to the new password field. So the new password entered is correct by user confirming the password that they have entered again. So I want to use the text field two rigid state equals to text field three rigid state. And if it's false, Let's throw a snack bar saying, please check new password entered. And then it would just uh, terminate here. If the action is, if the new password is equal to the confirm new password field. So this means true. Let's add the action of actually changing that password. So it will be the custom action, change password, custom action. And what we need is firstly the email. So this can be accessed through the authenticated user's email. The current password, which we want to validate is the text field one current password field. 
and the new password is basically you can either select number text field two or text text field three. It doesn't matter now because these are exactly the same since we've validated this in the condition or action number one. So I'm just going to select text field two here. And here it is possible the user has not typed in the correct current password. And if that's the case, um, this will output a false. So let's call this output change password result and add a condition. So remember change password result, either outputs are true or false. True means it has changed the password successfully. False, it means it has not. So let's add another snack bar here saying, um, whoop, saying that you have failed to change the password. Um, so I'm going to just write a snack bar. Fail to, fail to change password. You can show a message saying, hey, your current password is incorrect or whatever. I'm just going to say this here. Um, I'm just going to say, fail to change password. I'm going to add a terminate so nothing happens. Let's just say they've successfully changed the password. I'm going to say, successfully changed password. And then I'll navigate back to the previous page. For, so it navigates away from this page. And that's how the flow will work. So to summarize again, firstly, we check whether the two new passwords entered are correct to make sure the user is entering um, the right password they want, the right new password they want to enter. If it's false, we just say, um, please check new password entered. And then if it's true, we actually m make that Firebase authentication to actually change the password. And if the changing password has failed because of authentication issue, it will show a snack bar saying it failed to change password. If it has been successful, it will show a snack bar showing successfully changed password and now get back. So that is how the overall action and the flow would work. So I'm going to quickly go back to the profile page here and navigate to this change password page. So I'm going to navigate to change password and then allow back navigation. So that's, that works as is. So I'm going to quickly refresh the app. So now the app has loaded, let's go to the change password tab. So you can see here, um, my password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just say I change the password to maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but I accidentally make it made a typo here. And when I press save password, it will show a snack bar saying, Hey, please check the new password entered because these two are not correct. Let's just say I'm not the owner of the account and somehow I got access to the app. Um, let's say I want to change the password to like this, 09875. But I know that my part, current password is 123456, but I've entered 123567. When I press save password, let's say, hey, fail to change password. It means that um, the current password is not right. So let's just say I enter my current pass, the correct current password, one, two, four, five, six, and the new password of zero nine, eight, seven, six, five, and I press save password. And now it actually saves the password. And let's say I log out now. Okay. Now that I've logged out, let's try logging back in with the old password and the new password and see what happens. So I'm logging the old password first of one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see here it errors out. So if I type in the new password of 098765, it will log in. Voila, there it is. So that's how you can implement um, change password functionality with your in your Flutterflow app instead of using the default reset password action. This is a great user experience because it doesn't force the user to navigate away from the app and receive the typical reset password email from Firebase. And you can actually reserve that reset email password for the forgot password action. I hope this quick tutorial helped you improve your app and the user experience of your app. Remember to comment, like, or subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.